back up and running. Uh, I don't know if anyone in the chat can tell us where we left off. Sorry, the stream crashed last week as well. Um, but we were <laughs> just face to face and you were discussing with... Um, I yelled. That's oh, what happened. It was, they, they cut out when you said, if we help you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Guys, it's never going to be as good as the first time. No, I got shivers. I, <laughs> I saw uh, my own mom. Yeah, Shane saw his own mom. Uh, and uh, I said, uh, if we help you, what? And you go back and you fuck things up worse. You make them even slightly, incrementally worse. We will find you and we will send you right back here. We'll and send then you I yelled, to your room. Do you understand? And now you're that all intimidation, right and it's a 14. Uh, and I only got a 14 on my intimidation roll. But Shane was really intimidated. So I was. That yeah. should count for something. He looks up at you and goes, The place is my home. Then we have a deal. We have a deal. All right. Very well. <clears throat> I'll show you what you wanted to see. And he runs his fingers over his head and just siphons this kind of soft, kind of golden the shimmer of magic. Blinks a couple of times. This will show you everything you need. Pours it into a vial. Corks it and hands it over. Pour this into the bard's pool. And you can experience my memories. Or oh, the essence is of them, I suppose. My side is done. Have my word. Please. Elrond looks There's around to the group for like a last confirmation before he casts. I'll nod. You'll find out what the bracelets are. All right. And I'm sorry. That'll. He looks at you, Timothy. I'm so sorry. Did you create the bracelets? He looks up to uh, Adward. Doesn't say a word. Can I insight check his silence? <laughs> yeah, give me the weirdest vibes ever right before I cast this spell. <laughs> He's Rob just looking staring. right yeah. into your eyeballs like, come on, man. Oh, that was a 25. <laughs> Overwhelming guilt and sadness. It's like you said bye on like a phone call and then missed the hang up button like eight <laughs> <Yeah>. times. <laughs> How did I know? Uh, okay. All right. Well, here we go then. Adam looks over at Timothy one last time before he casts. I nod once more. He He's going to cast Christ. Conjure Elemental, okay. uh, which means based on the room environment, an elemental will. I can post the the uh, yeah. spell, but it's a lengthy spell to go into the chat. Go ahead so. just to see if uh, if it would result in a fight, I should say. Uh, it will be under my control uh, unless I drop concentration. Please don't. <laughs> If your concentration of broken elements doesn't disappear, it becomes hostile toward you and your companions. I attack you. I just want to double check to see if you if you summon an elemental and attack it yourself, does it turn on you? Uh, I think it's like a because of the fact that if concentration is broken, it attacks. Mm -hmm. I think it's like it is basically my thrall until as long as you maintain it. I drop concentration. It's like mind controlled. So technically, I think it would fight back against him. For the sake of 
longevity as it is just going to be a standard elemental. And you guys are pr much stronger. He would look at you all and say, I might need your aid in destroying this thing, but I should be able to handle it if you leave it here. Depends how much help you're willing to give. Gave you my word, so let's get it done. A nerd. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna kick back. And I'll tell you what. Over here. I'll put your players over to here. Go ahead and stick yourself onto the map. We'll see if you successfully kill an elemental. It's fine. Uh, what, are we all just in the center? This would be... Uh, uh, yeah, around here somewhere. Yeah, exactly. I'll I will, at him. I'll be close. I'll put an elemental onto the board. What kind of elemental do you want to put on the on thing? Uh, well, considering it's mostly it looks like rocks around here, I guess an earth one makes mm -hmm. sense because it comes from like the elements that are available mm. in the environment to use okay not a problem i will uh who wants to play basil not it <laughs> you had <laughs> enough of like <laughs> uh... i've played enough bard uh, can... <laughs> for a lifetime <laughs> uh... can't put this music on Okay, let me find an elemental. Let's see if I can find a rock elemental. Uh, that song's not playing. Okay, I'll find a different fighting theme. One sec. Let's do. Uh, let's do this one. It's not playing either. I'm just going to refresh my roll 20. Get bugged out when my stream crashed. One sec. Yeah, that should be playing songs. Okay. Um, okay. Let me get a stone elemental onto the board. A rock elemental. Sets. Just bring it up. Oops. My mouse has gone nuts. There we go. Dang, as a half elemental, got a nat 20 this an is animal. an incredibly dark sequence for me, Adelward. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's a bit rough. I don't speak their language. Elemental. It's okay. I won't. Uh, <laughs> I won't uh, understand their screams of agony. It's not a. <laughs> That's not a universal noise. That Wait, could be anything. are you sure you don't speak the language? You might. Yeah. Joe has yeah. given me magically. The oh my god! In this moment, you're gonna find out. Locked on, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's an earth elemental. I'm an ice elemental. It's different. It's totally different. It's not even. It's a different it's... dialect. <laughs> I wouldn't summon an ice elemental. <laughs> All right. Uh, I will put that onto the board. Um. Basil with the uh Oh okay. my god. Alright. A lot of net twenties. Yeah. Has everyone rolled their initiative? Yeah. No, sorry. I got pretty close with that twenty two. I got a ninth. <laughs> okay, I guess yeah. probably I should look at Basil Strike. As it'll be the first turn, will be mm -hmm. technically uh, yeah, it is under your bound. It's like, well, actually, it's because it goes last. It's probably going to get a lot of pain. The Earth Elemental <laughs> grows. It is not going to take any of your group this turn. You can wait, if you'd prefer, for Melanos to kind of aggressively attack it. Essentially, this is up to you if you want to get involved or not. It's only going to attack people that attack it. Hey. My 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 friend, 
move over there. <laughs> now it's going to tell the group, <laughs> like, a little bit away from uh, Ouch, uh, man. us. <laughs> yeah, stand right there. Oof. Nice. This was weird, but now you called it your friend. I know it's sad because it's not. He's going to die. I'm going to stand back here. <laughs> Just kind of kind of kick it. Okay. Uh, Is it a full Basil. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize Basil was uh, existed. That's okay. That's okay. No, that's okay. Person. Basil's gonna just be really like nervously looking around. Yeah, Basil's gonna feel really bad about this yeah, whole thing. Yeah, he feels super conflicted, and uh, I think he's gonna wait to see what everyone else is gonna do. So he's not gonna cast anything, but he will move out of the way a little bit. <laughs> Get out of the blast zone. Uh, then Fabio, yeah, right. uh, it's your turn. Then. Uh, Fabio will look around and see that <laughs> the other two have walked away and been like. Okay, <laughs> come over here. And stand yeah, of course, I'll pop the squat. <laughs> yeah, like, she'll, she'll lean against sort of... the wall. She'll pull out some shades. Okay. It's very scary, Is no one helping him? Well, we Basil, I think, also. would wait to see what everyone else is I, doing. I don't want to get involved because I'm currently concentrating so that it won't yeah. go totally yep. ballistic before the fight starts. I think we're waiting for Melanos to take. We're waiting the first for Melanos shot. to okay. take the first hit. Yeah. Timothy, do you want to do anything? Uh, I'll actually walk up the stairs right here. Uh, plant my hammer head first towards the floor and just wait with my hand on it. Theo, how tall is the bit in the center where he's at? Uh, just like five feet off the ground. It's not very high off the ground. A couple of steps up. Okay. Um. All right, I am going to, I'm going to hop over here. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to look at him and nod and wait. Let's go. Uh, Scott will come up with says too, and he just says, if you need help, we'll help you. Go on then. Okay. It's yours. Then on his turn, he's going to step over away from it. Turn, point his wand, and then strike it forward. And his first turn, he is going to cast Blight at fifth level. Um, so it needs to do a con save, which uh, it. Let me see his DC one sec. It succeeds. It's only going to take half. Wait, does it even take? Yeah, half damage. Ninety uh, D eight. Uh, so it's going to take 30. So it has 37 points uh, reduced down to s 18. 18 points of damage. Uh, not enough that he wanted it. You can see it holds against it. The blight just kind of causing some portions of the rock to turn nasty. But he's like, damn it. And immediately looks towards him and goes. <laughs> walking straight up there. Uh, it's going to take a slam attack against him. Two. A 15 and a 20 hits him. I think both hit him. Yep. Damn, this is sort of pathetic. Uh, he takes uh, 24 points Jesus. of bludgeoning damage as it just slams into us. <laughs> I can handle it. I can handle it. He kind of whispers to himself. Basil want to do anything? If you'd prefer, Basil goes lower, by the way, if you feel like it's awkward. Yeah, I think, can we move him a little bit lower? Yeah. If that's okay. Yeah. Basil's quick to get involved when it comes to <laughs> elemental sacrifice. Yeah, right. This is we know now. <laughs> Adelward, would you like to do anything? Adelward kicks it and just keeps watching. Fabio? Fabio will shoot it. Okay. 12. Doesn't hit. <laughs> that's, my, that's my turn. Wait, I didn't move. I didn't move, didn't so move let me roll advantage. again. Because I have steady yeah, aim. Your bonus action for the steady aim, yep. 26. 26. There, we, there we fucking go. Okay, so um, that's, uh... Does he count as an ally in this fight? I assume so. Uh, so can I roll yes, sneak? Because you're working with him, yes. Plus 14 sneak on top of that. Cool. Yeah, the arrow just sticks in there. And you can see it just kind of wedges into a nice gap. 
noise. That's my twin. Basil, you just skipped me. Timothy? Oh. Excuse <laughs> me. Sorry. Uh, I would turn to Scold and just say, make sure he does not die yet. Uh, I'm going to go forward and swing at it. Okay. Where is my hammer? Oh, back to Timmy, huh? Jesus Christ. How many things do I have? It's been a while. Yeah, and you guys are a little bit spent from your last fight. Yeah. Oh, that's right. It's not. It's my sensor. That's that's not my hammer. Mm -hmm. uh, twenty-five. Uh, twenty-five hits. Sick. Sick. Uh, two radiant and seven bludgeoning. Nine points of damage. Nice. Yeah, you hack into this thing. You just see portions of it crumble off. Uh, <clears throat> will Basil do anything? Uh, or do you feel more sure. comfortable skipping Basil? No, Basil can go ahead and, uh, sorry, Basil will, how big is this? Sorry, it's 10 foot, uh, sure, Basil will shatter, but like back here, so it, oh. you know, only. Can you post shatter Wait, so you... I get the, the, uh, the text? Oh, uh, I don't know, you're scaring Yorick me. Yorick would be here, right? He just wasn't in the memories. I almost oh, forgot right. about him because it's Yorick. been like a few weeks. Oh. I totally forgot about Yorick, yeah. <laughs> Oopsie. Yeah, he was in the bard's okay. he was in the bard's he waiting was there, room, right? Just, yeah. just like chilling. Right, talking yeah. to him, like making awkward small so talk. Here, I would I'll roll initiative. That's true, yeah, yeah, yeah. He has disadvantage on this. Yep, natural one. Because he's made of stone. Oh, okay. Uh, so, so yeah, he fails. what am I doing? <clears throat> so three D eight. Yep. 3D8. Uh, sorry. This is not okay. I don't know this. Extra damage. Yep. Okay. Fear. Oh, fuck! <laughs> that was a bad idea that we can go right next to each other. Okay. Uh, Fia will... I don't know. Let's see how quickly we can do this. Fia's Wait, going is that to... thunder damage? It was, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, so how much damage do you... Th uh... You're stressed me out. 13. No, he's, he's vulnerable to it. Okay. Um, you see, the does extra damage, portions of damage, pieces him falling off. Okay, cool. That's very exciting, and I like to see that. Pretty I hot. will then... Uh, okay, that's great. I'm gonna use my coat to change the shape of what I'm about to do next into a 20 foot radius so that I don't just bomb the world sure. and hit my friends. And I am gonna back here so that it only hits him smack a fireball, but it's a fire cylinder. Okay. Uh, Thanks, yes. That's an unnatural 20 <laughs> for 19 though. All right, well, that's okay. So he's still gonna take some. Mm hmm. Uh, and that is going to be uh, 22, 11. 11 points of fire damage. <laughs> As it kind of burns okay. against him, he manages to step away One from the main blast. Skull. Mm. Would you like to do anything? Without moving, Skull will swing his more fully extended in a wide arc to hit the earth elemental. Okay. Um... Bop, 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 bop. It's a 25 to hit. That hits. For 12 bludgeoning. It and good. he'll knock the you elemental back up. this way. Okay. Just away from the guy and then take one step forward. And then he'll just lean on his weapon again. He's not even going to swing twice. Okay. You there you go. Go. You're not going to swing twice, yeah? Mm -mm. He looks in a absorb it and no. he is going to do a vampiric touch against it by stepping in one. um which is a 26 to hit he hits doing 16 points of necrotic damage he heals for half of that uh but it's not enough for him to uh, uh absorb it yet it looks very hurt it's gonna turn it's going to punch him once and then Timothy once. A 23 and then a 12 for Timothy. So only he takes the damage. 14. Something against him and then swings, clinks off your armor. Anyone want to do anything? Is he the looking Earth fine? Is, he's, yeah, he's fine. Okay. The Earth Elemental, though, <coughs> is rough. 
Mm. Does it seem like the necromancer has to be the one that like finishes this thing off for him to get? Use an arcana check. I will do that. Oh, Scott is just assuming that to be the case. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's why I haven't done anything. Uh, 22. Ooh. Yeah, you can tell he has to siphon it. Okay, Edward kicks it. Kicks back. Okay. Hangs out. Fabio. I shoot. It kills it. Then we gotta do it all over. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a spell to do that. Uh, 24 again. to hit, yeah? Mm hmm. The arrow lands in it. <laughs> Shattering the earth elemental. Oh. And it dies. <laughs> Seriously, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> and now I'm sorry. I was on autopilot. I'm sorry. I cannot do that again. He turns towards Fabian and goes, <sighs> We're out of souls. You, you just want to go back home, yeah? Wait. <sighs> I need to leave. One of you will suffice. No, 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 no. Don't do this. You still have a chance for us to help you. And if you make a move against us, you won't leave here and we will. Scolder turned around and throws arms out of Fabio. What the fuck was that? <laughs> it's your turn, how Timothy. How am I supposed to be able to tell like how close to dying a uh, thing is? I'm going to move right here and say... Everybody, uh, everybody circle around, except for you, York. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to stay. You don't sleep, so it's kind of okay, but. No, it's fine. I can, I can stay here. Timmy says circle, circle. Yeah, I'll circle up. If we're not an initiative, then sure. I mean, you can go through things. He'll give you the chance. Oh, as well. Timothy, though. You leave. You might not be able to look at the mirror. Oh, shit. Aww. Even if we come back? Coming back, you're going to have to convince... I'll have to do it all over. Even after you rest and everything, you have to convince another Harbinger to take. Oh, no! As long as we know the place, I could take us to a specific point that we've been. With plane shift. Okay. If I know the place, I could take us directly there. But we have to, I have to know of it. I have to have been there. Okay. Let so we can just go directly to the bard? Yeah. That's tight as hell. That's black. <laughs> Even if it's not a circle? Like, we don't have to know a circle. No, plane shift doesn't use a circle. Place. Plane shift, I choose a destination on a different plane. Like a specific place. Okay. So I would have to know where we are, where we're going. Otherwise, it takes us somewhere random. Oh. But... I'm going to gather everyone's arms and focus really hard on the Temple of Somra up in Fjordhelm that I attuned to. Okay. And I'm going to Word of Recall there. Okay. Does it, is it any creatures around you or do you have to choose? It's a specific. <clears throat> we're one too many with uh, Yorick, so I have <clears throat> to leave him behind. But he doesn't sleep, so he can... Yep. It's going to be a long time for him because of the time dilation. <clears throat> yeah, it's a fifth level or a sixth level. I haven't used a sixth yet. Okay. He looks in us. No more path than I thought. Stands around with you and you cast it? Yeah. Okay. You feel the magic and radiance emanate around you. And it does work across the plane, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And light fills the area. You don't see anything but it. Your body seemed to shimmer for a moment. And you kind of get this weird kind of shifting, almost sickly feeling because your bodies in the real world are being morphed at the same time and you're appearing and attaching back to yourself. It's almost like being pulled by elastic bands and you appear back in the Temple to Summer in that room you're tuned to. I throw up. Is there anybody in here? <laughs> no, because it was a side room. You can well, hear yeah, the people in there. Sure. Yeah. So our bodies <clears throat> are not here. Yeah, they are. Right? No, they, they got just teleported. got sucked there. You got, you now. got basically yeah. joined. They teleported together. there. 
Yeah. Poor Aaron. Yeah, everyone, Except everyone for Aaron. Aaron's, place Aaron's place. body is still there, awake, because Aaron's still awake over in Fjordhelm. But... Er... Yeah. You returned... Oh, we're gonna have to go pick him up after this, huh? <laughs> and... Yeah, because... Sorry, go ahead. You're in this room. Manos looks across at you and goes... material plane mm -hmm. yep and I squeeze his hand it's not Wolfguard understand you see him push his hand through himself it's still ethereal <laughs> strange he pushes his hand through a wall near it and pulls it back out You lived up to your part of the deal. Unless there's anything more I'd like to leave. Where did you say we were? In Fjordhelm. Huh. It's a ways away from Wolfguard, but... Breeze Agnes. Still don't feel tired. I need my body. Thank you. May my memory serve you well. Please don't make us have to come find you. Make it right. Certainly try. He walks straight through the wall knee. Essence just kind of glistening off. Does he disappear? Do you think he's going to be mad about all the shit we took from his tower? I mean, someone else kind of... He's gone, right? <laughs> 40 years or something since he's been gone. There have been a lot yeah, of... Yeah, he years. won't oh, remember what's years. there. Oh, no, Even no, no, longer no. for him. 40 years in the material plane, it's probably been... Thousands of years. Yeah, the years. point is that there's been 40 shit. years of people that could have gone into Yeah, that. there's been yeah. a lot of looters in 40 oh, years. Exactly. Oh. Not us. Not really. That was, wasn't it? A well, series of like, magical recent. puzzles and riddles. Okay, but <laughs> Not the led bubble by him, was recent. They were time based. Yeah. <clears throat> His tower had already been fun. Oh, though. right. Because of the, cro the chronomancy chick that we killed. Yeah. yeah. Right. Hey, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I shot that. I didn't, I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't yeah. realize it was gonna. Whatever. I'm. You I'm gonna go. What do you mean? Me. I'm. I'm gonna find I... in. I'm gonna go to sleep. Yes. I'm done. No. We sleep. Today. We go back. I... We watch this memory. I do think. Wait. I just would like to take a moment and say that I think that maybe we all learned a valuable lesson here, which is that the next time we think that someone needs to kill somebody to make weird things happen, we should make sure everyone knows. That's all we gotta do. Just like say it out loud. Just make sure. Just communicate. We should just communicate better, you guys. But also, let's go to sleep. I'm tired. Battle word was gone. I'm also what tired. What do you say? He did. He didn't get. Any she didn't people. know. I just pointed at Fabia. You guys yeah. got yeah. You feel, like, you feel all, very you tired. Said. Uh, in fact, I would say as much so that you guys have come back with said. at least two points of exhaustion. You are shattered. Oh my God! Can we just go yes, sleep please. though? <clears throat> Okay, next time, don't shoot somebody that's going to be siphoned. <sighs> okay. Why do you want to rest? On the floor. Where's right the closest place no, to rest? Floor. Where's, where's the floor. Where's the fucking beds. floor next to me? Like, what do you... You can't, I mean, I you can get... We can get hospital beds in here. here. This, we is, can this is a hospital yeah. kind of base temple. So you could... Skull People sleep have a lot of heat. He's cozy. Yeah, I'd, I'd say we can rest here. We're that tired. Okay. Yeah. You make us a my... hut. Oh, wait, you can't make us a hut. Oh, I can make us it. a hut. It's so easy. I can do that any day. I can make that <laughs> any time. The illusion any time. of a hut. That's, that's a ritual. <laughs> that doesn't cost me anything. I'm gonna make a hut, bro. Uh, I'm, making, I'm making a hut. If he can stay awake for 10 minutes. <laughs> he makes half of a hut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just sit next to him and slap his face <laughs> whenever <laughs> it seems like he's gonna fall asleep. <laughs> just shift it against a wall. It'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you make, the, you make your most half-hearted half hut you've ever made, but it's good enough protection to host in your rest for the next eight <sighs> hours. Cool. Eight we hours sleep. pass. 
you fully long rest, regaining all your health, all your spell slots, and everything back. It's the best Thank night's God. sleep. Even though it's not the most comfortable area, it is one of the best night's sleeps you've ever had. It was like you've been away from your body for days. Question, just because I have Basil's sheet open. Anybody who had temp H or had their max HP reduced is now back to regular, right? Because of regular. the long rest? Yeah. Got it. Yep, you're all back to normal. And you wake up hours later. Maybe even nine hours later. You've had an extra little line. Whoa. I know. Break the, break the bank. The, uh, oh, I can't even yeah. I'm sleeping for nine hours IRL. <laughs> yeah, dude. Wait, really? Is that a lot for some people? It is when you have That's a kid. Like 12 hours. When you have a child, yeah. It's oh, nine yeah. hours. Impossible. This is your Nine habit. hours. Sam, just for you, it's a 10-hour sleep, man. Um, <laughs> I, mate. <laughs> you wake up after your rest, feeling rejuvenated. Okay, let's do it again. Do we just go back now? There's nothing we have to take care of. Second verse, same bit. as just, the first. Just we get should... this over with. Wait. I do want to see what's in this memory, and if he's Hold responsible, on. I'm coming back to kill him. Yeah, for sure. But also, we should probably tell someone here this time that like our bodies stay here. Like, oh right, yeah, yeah, probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. We should let. How do we explain again, this though? Like... It's easy. I got it. Don't worry. Just uh, you can't attack. Because it hasn't yeah, been a no, full day in the world. Yeah, no, but we're in the temple. Yeah. Yeah, well, I just yeah, want to we'll find just, someone okay, in the okay. temple. We'll find, like, yeah, you can find yeah. someone in the temple. Here. She's trying to find hey. the manager, dude. Hey, <clears throat> Hello, you. Yes. yes. Hey, hi. Hi, I'm Fia. Up. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hey, do, so do this is my friend. <gasps> yes, I do, actually. Um, Have you met Timmy? He's uh, also a devotee of Samra. Is this some, anyway. is this somebody we've seen? Blessings. No, it's just a, a random dwarf. Okay. Lady. Okay, so Wait, yeah. Wait, is this the this... place where I pretended yes. that I was yeah. Albert's yeah. wife? So maybe you've we're, seen my other friends. We made a they got a divorce. Team. It's been sad. I am. The... We've been oh. busy, rather busy. Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. So I just want to let you know that we have Hi. some stuff to do, and we're gonna actually just hop over to the plane of souls and get it done. So it's gonna look like maybe we're dead or asleep or something, but we're totally fine. Have we're just gonna use this room. Just... I just realized. We're only going to be out for a few hours. We could have just, like, said we're going to sleep. I just, we're just going to stay here. We're just going to use this room, okay? Sorry, we're really I... tired. So, she's going through a lot. <laughs> she's uh, playing serious. I could have just uh, made uh, another hut. And everyone, like, please we could just calm get this down. If you've consumed something, we can wash no. it down with water. And No, and it's fine. We're rest. fine. Just, we're, we're just, just going to borrow someone. this can room. We, can we sleep in this room for yeah, a little bit? Yeah, can we sleep in here for a minute? Sure. Great, okay. thanks. I'll bring nice. some water. Is this door locked? No, no you don't got it. We have our own water. We, we yeah, we're fine. A lot already. Right. Okay, cool. Thanks. Thanks for your help. <laughs> it shuts the door. Bobby, Bobby, can you lock this? Whack. Yep, I was just going to say, I arcane lock it. <laughs> we, we don't, stop we're just going to be asleep. Tiny and now it's locked. If someone tries to come in and it's locked, to it's gonna... why do they got to come in? What are they doing? <laughs> it's going to come in and watch hospital. us while we sleep. That's weird. They should what not come in and watch us while we sleep. They need to know there's people in here. No, that's weird. Metal Lord makes a tiny hut again. We're going to seal this place up like a fucking tool. locked the door. I made a tiny hut. I'm going to cast seeming on us. So No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, mirror that like mirror we have. Like, we'll make the temple of the gods. Put a tiny hut in there. The mirror in the tiny hut. <laughs> and then we all look like wolves. You <laughs> fought a <laughs> dragon and you weren't even that prepared. And you're <laughs> scared of a few nurses and doctors. Okay, okay. You, your tiny hut is an arcane lock. You're in the side room. What would you like to do? <laughs> Can we go now, please? Finally, and everybody, everybody, circle around. Uh, um, I get the tuning fork and I sort of ring it again. Should yeah, we wait. not go straight to his room because he's gonna get pissed if we just bamf in? Like, should we just wait? Go to his well, like waiting room? I was saying we go back to the necromancer's tower. That's what I was gonna go to, and then we just oh. go back through because it's only been a few minutes. We haven't been here that long. Just in, well, maybe the necromancer's tower was not. You were not in the material plane when you were there. So the necromancer. Yeah, so can I? Can I go to the Plane of Souls version of the tower? So oh, sorry. Where yes. we met him? Yes. And then yeah, walk out I the door. I want to go straight like... back to where yep. we were and be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like we never left. Yep. Okay, so that's... going to know. <laughs> that's what I'm focusing on when okay. I uh, ring the tuning fork and... He's like, you look restful. It's, well, it's going to have up with so that? fucking long for... <laughs> Not for them. 
Oh, no, wait, for no, them, for them it has for them been. It will be for them bad. it will so, have been. So, when you Stupid appear back in, while. in <laughs> It's like the... totally different people in there. <laughs> when you appear now, back yeah. in... Yeah, it's this next tour group. Like, just um, some... <laughs> when you appear back in that hall, and you teleport back in there, magic shifting you there, you plane shift, the vibration shooting you up into the sky, and you appear back on the familiar necromancer's tower. What's Yorick been doing for the last few weeks? <laughs> Watching Sentry on the door. Just in case, but sort of, himself. sort of in a a low power mode, sort of almost deactivated. Okay. Yeah. You're as a, the, yeah, as you all appear, and then he shaves his beard because it's been that long. Ah, uh, no. How long has it been? Would you say? Probably three weeks. Okay, it's not a super long time. Yorick, alas. Hey, buddy. It's fine. I don't sleep. Oh, There's not much well, to do, but I'm not tired. We didn't really okay. we slept too. It's not. You ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Hey, like, what's your deal? Sorry, we can have to talk about this later. Don't just ask people what their deal is. I just, you know, I like. Someone's deal is fucking well, right. You say this like I know what my deal is. I. This isn't my body, that's all I know. See, we're getting some of the deal. You don't know if you don't ask. Communication, you guys, that's what I was saying earlier. Yeah, when we're like normally doing our shit, we can walk and talk. When we're like normally doing the shit and we're all like airing this, airing that, are you like, are you like in are the background in going, yeah. that's not I my name? I still hear and see things. Okay. No, like when I see Zelfel, I can sort of bring myself forward because I know what's happening and I force myself to confront him, but for the most part, I'm sort of just a passenger. Can you, can you choose when to like come for, come forward? It's very difficult, but I have been able to. <laughs> I need very strong resolve, but it's possible. I mean, would you, would you ever want anyone to like try to get you out of there yeah do you want your own you body split up i would of, love to because i could probably start working on that like well i know it's my time has definitely passed my body is nothing but bones at this point i presume like it what if you could get like another body like this one right or like something <clears throat> be... or baby steps Let's do, like... wait who put you in there I don't know that I. Okay, sorry. Right, you don't know your deal either. I just, okay. I was dead, and then I woke up in here. Okay. I don't even know if I want a body after this. Uh, I could put after you in a jar. I. After no. Yeah, I could get you in a jar, a nice magic jar, if you'd like. No after I killed Zalfel, bro. I don't know if I have anything left to live for. I don't know anyone that was alive in my time. I don't know if I would have a purpose at that point. Uh, uh, York, like most of us don't really have purposes. So that's not a big, a lot of people are purposeless. But like, that's are you, real. are you saying that, are you, I don't know. I don't know how to reverently uh, say anything really. So uh, are you like, would you rather just die? Like, would you rather just like, like move, like move on? Like have your spirit be able to do a, like do the natural thing that should have happened? Plain a soul. I would love to move on if that was possible. I've had nothing but hatred for what? an endless amount oh, of time. Yeah, we should have just left you on the boat to go. Zalfel has killed everybody that I know. Wait, so. do we have? Wait, but we're we're he, we're he, we're in the we're in the spirit shit. Do we have an option here to like help help this dude? And then, just do you think? Do you want to just stay here? I do not want to leave until Zelfil is dead. Oh, okay. Oh, that was also okay. important information. <laughs> All right. Do you want to ever like just like really set up a? bad scene for that guy and then use the coin you know 
like a water bucket on a door and he walks in <laughs> and like but like of death not of water right bucket what about of death. Death? i mean he's like a demon fire water don't like oh shit yeah, yeah see yorick got it thanks oh. yorick seriously though but uh after i kill him i mean i'll just see what happens but i don't do you have a, pl a plan to kill him? He seems pretty just, beefed. I just the most fucked up stuff you can do. He just got a promotion, uh, too. He's as a wizard, I out. can really fuck him up if I get, like, a free day. <laughs> <laughs> just a day. <laughs> just a full day of prep time. A day and, like, one spell from the library. All I need is one day to really fuck up a high-powered demon. A home demon. alone situation, yeah. Yeah, right. Well, like, I've got so a quest tomato anywhere. <laughs> <clears throat> room with glyphs of warding and just kind of <laughs> kind of turn him into goo. Yeah, but wait. <laughs> every, every, every yeah, everyone's looking at their spell like, list and shit now. It but, like, cost a lot. I think of we money. gotta go. Like, I don't think <laughs> if we <clears throat> if he gets iced on the material plane, though, doesn't he just like pop back? Yeah, well, yeah. I was just gonna say, yeah, doesn't like, he just yeah. go back to his home? Yeah, yeah you have to killing kill him them is hard. Go to your home. Yeah. We gotta go there. <laughs> go to bed. We have a choice. We can go to any plane we want. I mean, <laughs> but that's. I don't think going him. to. I'm allergic to this plan. <laughs> I think I would fucking <laughs> die if I go there. Okay. I'm going yeah, to... going to hell isn't the best of moves. Okay. Is hell what actually if... hot though, or is it just like pretend is it hot? It's kind of like know? just well, a bummer time, because this like... place is a bummer though. Remember it's like green then. Yeah. That... <laughs> that pool, <laughs> was all like fire. <laughs> that demon was coming. Yeah, that sucked. It's like that. That's shitty. Yeah, How about, I mean, like, I'm pretty sure it's hot. Eternal yeah, fire yeah, seems more like a metaphor. That comes naturally. No, there was this. I got sucked through a window into, into like, it was, it was really fiery and bad. It was really bad. And I like fire. It was no, really bad. No, the one bad. you got sucked into was a uh, uh, toxic poison death cloud. If I remember yeah, but right. she doesn't know. Oh, okay. She doesn't really remember. It was like being a swap. <laughs> Insight check. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's like a fiery dude running at her, remember? Mm -hmm. She just, like, just like remembers that. She's like, there's like a giant fucking fire demon like running at me. And there were all these like little fiery dudes there as well. It fucking was terrible. Oh, okay. Okay, so eternal fire is real. I okay. I don't know that I wanted to know that actually. Now this might get existential. We should go to talk to the bard. Yeah, you just, I, I don't know if we need to really figure out his deal, like, right now, if I'm going to be honest. Yeah, but also, like, we're going to... Like, look, out. he sat here for no, weeks waiting for yeah. us. The least <laughs> like, we could do is be like, hey, York, we never get to talk. I, I know yeah, that there's like, another, like, voice that lives inside of Aaron, but hey, nice not, to meet you. What's your deal? You know, it just seems... Taking you for granted, man. Thanks for having our back, and we'll figure something out. You guys do forget about me a lot. Yeah, see, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, kind of, it's almost like I honestly itself. did not know um, you existed until we came to this plane. <laughs> it's important to ask. I think What's I've your deal? two words with Aaron in my entire life. Well, maybe you For should a squire talk to him Timmy, more. he really doesn't give you much to go to work with. He just kind of looks at me a lot. He like just stares at me. I mean, Aaron's just on, uh, it's on Timmy. Aaron's just sort of a. Uh... I don't know the right word. All his purposes is to listen to his commands. So there's not much for him to say. He's really but, and he's the, and he's the front facing thing. Yeah, so. I mean, if Timmy, if Timmy, sort of told him to be more out there, talkative, I'm sure he would. But all he knows right now is to protect. Whoa. Could yes, you, why would I hold on? Why would I want him? Maybe to talk? we're busting this thing right yeah. open, like. Then Timmy, could you say to Aaron, "Let Yorick take let you? let Yorick out, let Yorick talk." I mean, I've never tried, but but would that hurt Aaron's feelings? This but then they could, uh, what, like, look, Aaron, it's it's a Yorick complicated get to do situation. Shit. They could share the day. Aaron is just like you a, know, like a, like a very basic six hours AI. on, six hours off, or some shit. Like, let them both, let them share. We all do know that, like, the constructs happen, are souls, yeah? Focusing yeah. on what's important. I like to imagine we have been walking and talking this way. Well, actually, <laughs> yeah. Long. We're going down it's the not million that long stairs. Of a walk. I don't know that. I don't know that. I don't know. Adelward knows that, but all the rest of us do, yeah, because we, we were all together when we We're already that. there, and Skull's just like, his head is resting against the door to the bar. And he's, just he's like, like come <laughs> on. The bard, the bard actually has a glass against the door listening to us. Like, why is taking them so long? What are they talking about? 
I guess I'm going to role play so many characters today. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sure Shane, can you play three characters at once, please? That's what we're asking you to do. <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, all that I want. If we saw Aaron, really. I would have had to. No, wait, I already did. I've done Timmy, yeah, Ogren, done and Yorick. I would have had to do four if we saw Aaron. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Fuck. Look, okay. Shane's just a brilliant RPer, and I want more. Yeah. So, That's sue true. me. That's true. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, oh, let's... by the way, Adelward Ward, contra Constructs have souls. I don't know if you know that. I guess now we do know. All right. Just in case you didn't know. Like, it feels like a lot of people don't really know, and... Anyway. So you're telling me that one time I made a cannonball alive, I gave it a soul. Well, I don't know actually about that, but I mean That's what like you're me. these you're guys. That thing points that at York. I feel like probably because but... that's that's a huge bummer. That's like feel... one of them. That's really. Did he sad. make the soul or did he pull it from somewhere? Do I mean this is a lot to take in? Let's ask the bard. <laughs> no, then the bard's gonna be like, "What you got for me, bitch?" I know we don't have any more. We don't got anything else. Outside the door right now. <laughs> Let's, Let's, go. Let's, go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's open. <laughs> Before you do go in there, by the way, I just want you to picture for a second. You're an <laughs> elemental. Your master oh. conjures you, and suddenly all of you, all of the people that have just conjured you, just start beating the shit out of you, <laughs> kill you, and send you back for no reason in look your next mind. Time, look, I... no reason, no reason whatsoever. We should try to conjure him back and be like, oh, <laughs> homie, I'm so sorry about that. He's probably in a line somewhere in the elements playing, and oh, it's finally my time. <laughs> He's the the elemental elemental line. Yeah. straight back to the line. For, for, like, also, like, twice, whenever I summon an earth elemental, I want it to be Larry, the one I summoned before. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, but True. like, isn't it better though for it to die and go back to the end of the line than to get like yeah. slurped up by a <laughs> yeah, necromancer? I mean, yeah. True. That's true. Right, also, like, like I said, Pog's died like twice. He doesn't hold a grudge. It's fine. Pog's yeah, not, I mean, like the Pog's wording enough, in, I know. <laughs> the wording I in Conjure him. Elemental <laughs> does make it really just seem like they have no fucking choice whatsoever but to yeah. listen to me <laughs> until, like, they've gotten the shit kicked out of them. So they probably don't fucking like me it's very true. much anyways, to be honest. Like, Right. So. Okay. Focus. <laughs> anyways. Bring it back in, just because I'm realizing the time. You enter back into the room of the bard. And you see him skulk back out of the shadows, and he goes... Did you find what you need? Halfway. Uh, we have a memory we need to watch. Then pour it in. And this time, observe. God, that RP, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you pour the memory in. Okay. The bard weaves it into reality. The first illusion that appears is that of the necromancer Malonus. And he stood around a council chamber. Several people wearing kind of tabards of wolf guard armor, some other people in kind of robes <coughs> and, and just kind of royal clothing are discussing it. He folds his arms behind his back and says, Every single one of them would be willing to sign away their bodies. But I do believe this is the only method of my capabilities. If you wish for Wolfgard to stand a chance against this lycanthropy. And nodding. You see the kingly fellow at the end. Very well. I'll sign it and be done. The memory shifts and fades. <laughs> you are in essentially kind of, you're almost peering through like his eyes. And they blink awake. But his left eye feels half closed. In front of him stands a couple of... No uh, consistency in their dress sense, but one man wearing kind of leather rags, another person wearing kind of a chain mail, a bludgeon in one hand. 
and then someone steps into the background and they've got a cloaked hood and they pull the hood down they're wearing a clasp at the front they have a symbol on their chest anyone who how oh a uh, history check from timothy and I would say also from you, Fia. You're the only two that probably would have known about this stuff. 14. Oof, six. All you can recognize with the 14 as the, is that this person belongs to the Mage Hunters. Uh, you would know oh, the, the crest pretty well, Timothy, because during the War for More, Mage Hunters became extremely popular with kings and leaders because... No one wanted anyone to have magic. Became a pretty brutal profession. Very Inquisition based. The first in the herd lowers it. It's a younger man and he says, Well, you've woken up. You feel shifting side to side. You look down, there's planks beneath your feet. You see wooden on both sides. The voice coming out of you is Malinos. Where are you taking me? What is this? You're being sent to meet for someone. Please keep calm. No. You attacked me. Send me back to Wolfgard. I can't be away from Wolfgard for long. You don't understand. The guy steps in front of you. You do as we say. No, you don't under any backhands around the front. You're going to regret that. <laughs> Tries to cast a spell. His throat gets caught for a second. Here. What have you done to me? Spell locking paste. Quite effective. Oh shit, locking paste. You'll behave. Or we'll hit you again. If you don't under any backhands him again, the illusion fades. And then it appears up. And you're in a much nicer room. Sat there with no manacles on your arms. A beautiful marble desk with walls that are designed with beautiful murals across them. Pillars holding it up. It's warmer here. You can feel the heat on you. And you see a large man, tall, broad, uh, not even overweight, just like Several hundred pounds of very broad and kind of compact. Bald as the day is born. A kind of a, a deep brown skin. Very beautiful kind of golden eyes. Great big earrings. So, Archmage. Do we have an accord? <laughs> you... You must send me back once I've done this. You have my word. You'll be returned to Wolfgard. Once you've created them. That's all I ask. Am I not a generous man? Yes. I appreciate it. I just I'm so far from home. That's all I need you to do. Just a little bit of magic. You are quite capable. And he brings out a bracelet with a diamond on it. I need them to work this time. The memory fades. Uh, do we recognize that guy? No. Okay. You now find yourself up working on it, pouring radiant magic and necrotic magic into this tiny diamond on a bracelet. Sitting back, as you rest your eyes, you look up at the kind of uh, 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 shelves of just hanging hundreds of them. You feel worn out. The memory fades. And it comes up again. You recognize the walls of Undersun. You're stood in the back. 
There's a series of dwarves, a few humans, lining up. The person in front of you is handing out these bracelets. For Westmore. A second chance. Ogryn steps to the front. I need, I need six. If you don't mind. Six, very well. A second chance. The necromancer remains silent, looking down. Ogryn goes. The memories fade. And then it comes up once more. And you're in a darker room. There's a meeting table out. It's dwarven in this area, but not undersun. Familiar. You see a dwarven smith step up and say, And what are these? Why do we need to put them in them? And a man leans across and says, the Silk Weaver commissioned an army for you to build it. Are you paid to build the army or question it? Do as you're told. The Necromaster tries to speak, but his throat catches. He looks to his side at the mage hunter who smiles at him. The memory fades and comes up Did again. Did that look like Anharol? Yes. Comes up again. And Manalos is looking out at 10,000 warforged down beneath a mountain as individual diamonds are being inserted straight into their chest. Now we know. One by one, by one. A dwarf looks up to him and says, I don't understand this is necessary. What is even in these things? Our designs are good enough. He looks down and says, This will make them better. The scene fades. And it comes up again on a ship. And he's looking out. And which way are we sailing? And the same mage hunter that was there before says, West. So we've owned us his word. Returning home. Aye. You just didn't specify how. Before a sword is driven into his chest. He grasps, grabs hold of the captive. He said, like, return. Hi. We can't have you speaking. Pulls out the sword, brings up a dagger, and just slices his throat. Manlos drops to his knees and dies as the memories fade. And the bard leans in with a smile. There. The truth. And that's where we're in tonight's episode. Holy fuck. <clears throat> fuck. Dude, this is the king I nearly fucking, whose ass I nearly beat at the start of the fucking entire campaign. <laughs> I was gonna say, so are we, oh God, never mind. We'll, we'll talk about it. <laughs> There's a lot going on right now. I wish I'd have done it. Damn. Well, there you go. How long have you been sitting on that one, huh? Year and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe longer, nearly two years. Uh, Since before Dodger came in. Yeah, because you guys, you guys did all of the Warforged stuff without me. That was before me. Yeah. This is where I got my belt. <sighs> oh my god. Yep. So, and I yo, went with that king and got talked out of it. And he was the reason that Wolf God went to shit. <laughs> well, we don't. All we know is that the 
dwarves in Anharol didn't know about the bracelets and the souls. We don't think anyone knows, because we know, but we're not sure that anyone else knows. We know that the king knew the army was there, and we know that the dwarves were told to build the army, but not for whom. And it sounded like the king may have just kind of, like, swiped it. Because they were, the army was there mm -hmm. for the rulers in wherever the fuck. Right, Joe? There's a lot of questions mean, we got to ask fuck? people now. Yeah. I mean, they were, com we, know they, we know the army was commissioned by the rulers. Not that, not the, the fucking king right now. They were commissioned and it was like the dwarves had the whatever, right? The dwarves had the army. Someone else had like the passcode. That's what we were told. Yes. But we don't know if any of that is true, that we just know that that's what we were told. Yeah, Shane's right. We just need to start seeking out people to ask questions now. Yeah. So, <clears throat> are we to assume that this, the War of the Greed or whatever, there was an overarching plan war where war. there was probably thousands of people with these bracelets during this war, and they all fed into the fucking yeah. construct. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. So, potentially... Oh, poor Ogren. But, like, all of his friends might be Warforged currently. <coughs> but if the if the Warforged were... Oh, fuck. Well, well it's... <laughs> we're going to ask Aaron some questions uh, next session, or not even next session, whenever we get back to, I guess. Yeah. Someone, someone started a war, literally, so they could make 10,000 Warforged. Because, <laughs> yeah, because, with like, what's souls. happening with... Aaron might literally be the key to understanding what's happening with these Warforged, right? Because, like, then they potentially are Warforged with a soul sitting in the back seat, right? So there's, they still, like, are able to be commanded and follow orders, but are, like, juiced up with a soul of somebody who lived a long time ago. I mean, it sounds like Aaron is the, in the exact same situation. He's just yeah, that's what I'm saying. In the wrong kind of world. So, <laughs> guess what? Um, who's the bitch that laid the groundwork? <laughs> who said, hey, what's your deal? Before we walked in there. It was good You're timing. You're welcome. It was very good timing. <laughs> um, but there you go. You guys can discuss Wait. it during the week and we can get... What, what's up? Mm. DM. Uh, sure. DM to the DM. Uh, yeah. yeah or yeah, I yeah. can. What do you mean by that? Oh boy. Oh, oh, okay. No, no, no. I see. I see. I see. Yeah. 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 Um, so, we can see what happens over the course of next week, but let's do some shout outs now. And uh, and then we'll do the announcement of the other video. So, uh, let's go ahead and start with uh, Old Lady Game. No. Oh. I'm just going to be a tomato. No. Okay. <laughs> Shane. <laughs> Check her out, old hey lady guys. gamer. I'm not going to say no. I'm going to say I'm Shane. Uh, I play funky modded video games and randomizers. That's me. Maybe Minecraft occasionally. Uh, I'm Shane Hawk on everything. I love you all. Incredible roleplay today, Shane, by the way. That scene Thank you. where you stuck in was Yeah, well amazing. done, bud. It was a lot. It was emotional. The nat 20 to get back up, dude. Oh. I don't know how I lived all That's of that, but it was so fucking D &D perfect. D&D just fucking thrives, dude, is when it just tells the story with you. It's so good. Mm. Um, yeah, thank you for that, Shane. It was awesome. Dodger. Uh, hi, guys. I'm Dodger. You can find me at Dex Bonus on pretty much everything. And I drink coffee and I talk about my life and then I play games and it's it's that sort of vibes. So um, come hang out. And I'm uh, Joe. I'm very happy for you. You've gotten to like do a bunch of reveals in the last I know. couple of months. Really... I'm sure that there are a yeah, ton a more. But My gray hairs I are turning back to brown. It feels awesome to like <laughs> get these things out there. Younger again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that works. Broken. I'm sorry to like be the bearer of bad news. It's been good. It's been that's nice. relieving. Uh, Brie Bunk couldn't make it to this episode. She's missed the entirety of the Flame of Souls arc, which is sad because she would have loved it. She missed all the wall drops. Yeah. Notes for her. Yeah. 
Yep, the heavy emotional stuff that I know she was craving. So, uh, yeah, she will be probably back next week or the week after. Um, please go check her out. She plays all different games and whatnot. Variety Gamer over on her channel at Bree Burn. Sam, strip it. What's up, guys? I'm stripping. You can find my Twitter TV slash stripping every day from 2 p.m. Eastern. I play like all kinds of random shit. See you there. That was fast. And finally, Tomato. Pass. <laughs> oh. No, you can't pass. Smash. I pass. No, no, no. no. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, look, check him at Tomato Gaming, okay? Just do, just do the announcement. It's not Tomato Gaming, it's just tomorrow. Okay, yeah, look, yeah. it's because it's, it's his Twitter. Tomato Gaming is Twitter. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. It's okay, that, we're that shouting everyone games. out in chat. He plays <laughs> games, he's funny and stuff. Chat's got this. Thank he does you, whatever chat. the fuck he wants. Yeah. Please don't listen to <laughs> I do what I want. Put those shoes. bad links. <laughs> so, uh, hi, I'm Joe Fudge. You can check me on this channel. I'll be reading some homebrews on Tuesday and stuff. You can find our patron is now a changed name to Fudge Rolls. I basically just changed it up to incorporate all the campaigns we've got. Um, Fudge Rolls. I like it. Thank you. Uh, I like it. It was convenient. Uh, but, hey, let's not end on a shower. Let's end on a teaser trailer. Um, Oh, myself yeah. and some artists uh, have put together uh, a fun little teaser trailer for an upcoming campaign. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the music okay. here and do move. We need, do we need context before we watch it? Or no, it gives it all. after. No, dude. Okay, it it okay. I'm ready. Um, okay. I'm going to move over to that scene. I'll manage the levels. It might be a little loud. If you can't make it right now, it's going to be up on Twitter in a minute. I'll see you guys over there. Enjoy. The first to suffer in a war between gods are those who dwell beneath them. Three worlds. The first, Mesogaia. A land where mortals and demigods strive to become the focus of an odyssey. Where wars are fought with both bronze and philosophy. Where, atop a cloud-breaking mountain city, Zeus and his Olympians rule over the mortals. Where hydras, not dragons, lurk in great caverns. The second world of Midgar. A land where each passing season brings more than just rain, snow, and leaf. The roots of Yggdrasil link the nine realms together. And atop its highest branch, Odin and his Aesir gods live within their city of Asgard, where fire and ice take the forms of giants. When the two pantheons discovered one another, festivities were held. The two shared many similarities and delighted in their differences. For a time, two worlds only benefited from their meeting. Why then would Zeus choose to break that peace? Why then would he choose to poison the world tree? Odin gave us no answers. Instead, he chose war. The magic required to travel between the worlds was so vast, it left scars upon both sides. They needed a world to bridge theirs together. That world was Athena. A land of royal courts with little in the way of magic, where a singular wizard can achieve tremendous things. On one side, the Norse invaded. And the other, the Mesogaians. for the sake of their home. A legend must first be born. The Fates and the Norns are nowhere to be found, and all three worlds might be consumed by the war. Destiny falls upon the shoulders 
as it so often does, of mortals. But strangely, much will also be decided by the unsuspecting plant that seemed all too innocent to swear an oath. April 29th. Dude, April 29th? That was so April fucking cool. That's very cool. Hell yeah. Uh, Good shit. Just to give a big old thank <clears throat> you out to the artists, we had um, Mike, aka Wing Buffet, who did uh, all the character art. Tom Bag did all of the great scenario art, like Asgard, uh, the Sword in the Stone, uh, Olympus. Trey Noir did the entirety of the composing and editing, uh, which was gorgeous. Composed it from scratch. Um, Jerry K or, or Devil No uh, did uh, the uh, the the spilling of the drinks, the war scene. Um, Storm Rider did Zeus and the poisoning of the world tree. Uh, it was incredible to to have all these artists work with it, and uh, and yeah, it's coming out at the end of this month. Thanks everyone for watching. You see uh, old LG and Tomato in it, and uh, yeah, this will run alongside. Doesn't change God Fortune anyway. Just another campaign on the channel. And uh, yeah, we get about time you ran two games, you bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it has been two years, <laughs> but uh, thank you everyone for coming out. I appreciate the hell out of it. Much love to you all, and we'll see you next week to discover more about the Warforged on Godforged. Look at that, it rhymed. All right, catch you guys later. It's just the same, oh, it's the same one, it's the same one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> see you later, guys. Bye. <laughs> it's a, it's